We live on this planet, Allah gave us the greatest of signs. When Sayyidina Ibrahim was going for the stars, say, it's great but it settles. Went for the moon, say, it's great but it settles. Ayatul Akbar that Allah is emphasizing, this is a great sign, don't lose glimpse of this. When Sayyidina Ibrahim is teaching, Qur'an is all coded. That for those who know Allah has inspired them in His path of marifah, reach to the stars, kawakib, yeah. means that in your tafakkur, in your meditation, in your contemplation you reach to a realm of lights and understood that these souls they are like stars on a dark night and they guide. You don't go straight to the top but you go through these maqams and reach to the maqam of these najm whom Prophet described, follow my companions, any of them, they're like stars on a dark night. They lost their mass, the people of this guidance and this reality they'll teach you to lose your mass, your physicality. In this E equals M mass. See two lights squared. Two lights is your nur and your nar. If you lose the mass in this equation, you're opening up the E, then the E equals these two lights. Your mass is throwing off the formula, either weighing you down to become narani. Filled with your nafs, filled with your ego, filled with bad character. The path is how to balance these two noons. We call them noons, they call them their formula C, two lights. These are the same two lights within the word insan. Two noons in insan, Zul Noon, the Prophet of Allah Jonah. Zul Noon, the two noons means how to balance the fire that it's not a fire of rage, it's not a fire that burns out and hurts people. It's the fire of an internal himmah and love. That's why we said this path is based on wow and wudud, that you have to control your anger. When Allah sees that the servant is struggling to control their anger, their nar and narani character, it becomes an internal flame of passion, divine passion. Because now you're reflecting what you're witnessing. When Sayyidina Musa salam began to approach, we said ta seen is a description of this cave. See how all around this sun is black and dark, that is the cave. And what you're seeing this sun is Allah giving the greatest sign of realities of what Sayyidina Ibrahim was witnessing. I went to the, the association of awliya, they guided and directed, you go to our, our boss, the Ghawth whom he directly takes from the next sign that you'll learn about. That Ghawth who's in charge of this dunya and many understandings and realities is directly taking from the sun and then that moon teaches us that take the bombarding, take the testing, take everything and every difficulty that Allah sends to you for He doesn't send anything that's not prescribed and perfect for you. Because then you would be saying, Allah made a mistake, He threw a rock at me by accident. Allah makes no mistakes. Whatever came to you was meant for you. And there was a hikmah and a lesson within it. When we took it and the qawth inspired within the teachings of the heart, take it, take it, take it, be patient. These are Amr Jabbar wa Ayat al-Sabr, 
They are the greatest signs of sabr because they take from Sifat al-Jabr that whatever Allah is going to do, He's going to do. Can you move from it and, and escape it? No, you can just scream a lot about it. Better not to and have sabr, 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 wa fa'udhu amri in Allah. In Allahu basirun bi ibad, Ya Rabbi you see my condition, good God give me strength. If it's not going to end at least give me strength to endure it. No, as I said, no problem sit with them they'll teach you. Our strength is in the love of Sayyidina Muhammad because you take the bombarding, you take the bombarding and when the shell is cracking the soul is escaping. It begins to sense and feel that immense love and the sun becomes the symbol of eternity for all of creation. All the inhabitants of this earth Allah says, if you want to know what is eternal look to your sun. It's a fire, it's not a nur, it's a nar, it's a diya, it's a source of fire. It consumes all the negativities and puts out an immense flame. And that sun, once your heart is lit and you entered into the cave, what the Ayatul Kareem described for Sayyidina Musa salam that as you're about to enter into this presence, take off your shoes, take off your nafs and your questions and your whatever you're in your mind. This is now a holy precincts. Those whom entered into it are holy, those are all around it are holy because you're now into the flame of this Divine Love. Its center is who? Its center of reality is who? The fact that you can see that fire is the manifest who. But the source of that power, the izza and might of that power is the unseen who. Hu Allahu ladhi la ilaha illa hu, two hu's. One who you never will see, it's not meant for us to see. But the one whom is giving a Divine essence and Divine reality is then the manifest who. That's why Allah ayat al-Qur'an, tilka ayat al-Qur'an. These are the signs because it's no shariq, Allah has no partner. But Allah's signs when they manifest, ayatul min ayatullah, these are the signs of Allah that who that is unseen, who Allahu ladhi la ilaha illa hu, hu al-awwal wa hu al-akhir. And what Prophet described, an awwala khalqillah wa khatim an nabeen is description of that reality. I'm the first thing that Allah has created and I'm the khatim and the seal of all of creation. That Prophet's reality of who is a reflection of an unseen and will never be seen who by creation. And this is the sincerity, the flame is the ocean of immense sincerity and Divinely love. So you see it in this image, this is our journey. Everything around is dark, is nothing, is insignificant, it's in a fana of non-manifestation. Can you manifest as anything in front of the sun? You go there and say, do you know who I am, do you know who I am? Allah said to Nabi Musa, we don't care who you are, put yourself down. Said to Sayyidina Isa Salam, we don't care who you are, put yourself down. Every Prophet of Allah was told, you want to reach this reality, put yourself down, your risalah down, your nubuwat down. It means nothing in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad An agent in the presence of the authority Sultan and Nasirah shows no agency, his agency is invalid in the presence of the one who owns everything. That's why Allah faced Rah Miraj showed the ihtiram, let me show you who you are, let the creation know who you are. 
enter in. Why the Isra? It could have been just straight miraj. Allah wanted to show ihtiram and tashrif. Go, you are my most beloved creation, my Habib, the one whom for love I created you and will be known through you. I send you with my angels as your emissaries, I wash you from my paradises for your water, I dress you from the, the, the khirqa and the lights of your jubba, I send for you my limousine and your buraq and go into their presence and make them all pray behind you and give their shahada and testimony of faith to you And they prayed with Sayyidina Muhammad and said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah all their risalats became void, all their nubuwa became void, all that remained is Allah's Khalifa. There's no more prophecy and that's why Allah asked them, if you come into the presence of Him will you accept Him? And they qalu bala, He came in the presence. As soon as he comes into the presence of all the Prophets and all the, the messengers, everything became void. Now you're in the presence of Sultan and Nasirah, the only risalat is of Sayyidina Muhammad in a deen deen Allah is Islam. That's why Allah wanted to give everything to Prophet go, go let them see, see who you are. That was the reality of Isra. The miraj then Allah want to say, let me just show you how much I've given to you of all this kingdom. Every palace and every, and every paradise you go, all of His angels have to come outside to greet you. And all malaika came outside of its gates to greet Sayyidina Muhammad All the lights of paradises turned on, all of the realities of, para- of paradises turned on. Means the immensity of this light and this beauty all by love and muhabbat. So a journey into this reality of light is that those whom enter into the precincts of that light leave their shoes, the, the donkey material, leave the bad character and enter into this presence of holiness of this immense light, immense beauty and it burns away like a moth everything other than it. And that becomes like us, we are all like a moth that are flying around these realities, flying around these associations, flying around the the live broadcast saying, when am I going to commit to it? When am I going to be like a moth and actually fly into it? I'm enjoying it, I'm kind of realizing it and at some point they say, no that's it, I, I want to be in that reality. This is the the nature of this blessed association and the immense love of Sayyidina Muhammad This is the cave. What you see in this image behind us, all the blackness is us, that we are nothing, none of us. If we declare our nothingness and become nothing and enter into that light, that light begins to dress us and bless us. And if you stay enough in that light and it's not that you love Sayyidina Muhammad that's your level of trying to come up and reach. But what we're trying to achieve is that Sayyidina Muhammad to love us. That's something different. You we have to convince, please love Sayyidina Muhammad why I don't know, is this like a shirk, is like this because you're… People are crazy. Once you go past that stage they say, no I'm understanding now from your teaching how much Allah loves the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and you decided that you love that reality. Then Prophet described, you have to love me then more than you love yourself. قُلِينَ الصَّلَاةِ وَاهْنُ سُقِّ وَاهْمَيَّا هِيَا وَاهْمَا مَاتِ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Not my life, my family, my prayers, nothing of that. I put all of that onto the table and all I want is Allah's rida and satisfaction. And the one that He made as a mercy to all creation that once we do that 
And we come with that and we, we understood why they're talking about khidmat, why they're talking about being active, why they talk about we're trying to get the nas out of Sayyidina Muhammad Everything we're doing, every… if we're going to broadcast, we have to broadcast with the best of what we have. Not for profit, P-R-O-F-I-T, but for Sayyidina Muhammad P-R-O P-H-E-T That's… that's… that's the way of getting their attention. That I do everything I do, I want it to be beatific for you Sayyidina Muhammad We want to have an event, we're going to make it as beatific as possible for the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And whatever character we have, we try to make our character most beatific for Sayyidina Muhammad Every time we talk and interact with people. We're asking, me, Ya Rabbi make me an ambassador of this reality, to be good and, and gracious and polite. So when people go away happy in their heart, that's the first thing that goes to Allah not your salah, not your zakah, not all of the actions that you're doing. For none of it means anything to Allah if people's hearts are being broken by you. Tariqah is different, people don't hear that in a masjid. They hear, oh do all your, your things, become proud of who you are, become proud of all your, your actions and you meet them to be the most horrific people that you'll come across on the street and in a store or anywhere to a Muslim and worse to a non-Muslim. And that's not the way. The way is that you do all your prayers and do all that Allah ordered you to do but if they didn't change your khuluq, because what Allah loved, He'd be khuluqul azeem, you are of a magnificent character. Your Ramadan is so true, your salah is so true, your, your zakah, your jihad was so true that look at the character that you have upon this creation. When Allah was angry Sayyidina Muhammad was even soft. When it came to hip- hypocrite, Allah was ordering punishment and Sayyidina Muhammad was asked <laughs> to forgive, to forgive. So even if you ask me 70,000 times, I'm not forgiving that one. But what this khuluq of immense love and mercy. And they would ask Prophet should we come and curse this one? And Prophet said, I came to spread mercy and rahmah, not punishment and azab. We pray that Allah dress us from that, bless us from these characteristics and that everything we're doing in our life to gain the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad so that the journey to be beatific, to be graced by Allah's rahmah and mercy, that whatever we did Ya Rabbi of, of rahmah and mercy, dress us and bless us and be merciful to us as our approach towards your Divine the Presence inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa. Click the link now to subscribe.